Okay, we're back on our uh, sporty motor. I found uh, the person that hid my hardware from me, so, so we got some new hardware to go replace all this junk I put up in here. And then the uh, I found the missing push rods also. The customer didn't like those half inch ones, so we're going to put the old ones back in, except they're half inch also. You can see how they rub here and there. So I dug through all mine and found the best that I had left. I thought I had more, but oh well. So this is a nice set of uh, stock ones, which are smaller diameters. So you can see the difference in diameters. This is 716, so that's half inch. So there you go. So when you get a push rod, you got to make sure two things are very important. One is that they're straight and round, so they're not wobbling. Two is you got to make sure the tips up here are nice and smooth and round and not rusty or gouged on. So these look pretty good. And they also have a nice finish to them too, which means they're not too not too old. All right, so there we go. I got all this extra work I got to redo now. Somebody put the motor together wrong last time. Nobody knows who that was though. The key is there's no video evidence of it. All right, so. I gotta unmount these now. Oh shoot, I actually have bolts on them, I forgot. I didn't want them to fall off the motor while I was not working. See, I did a great video, I didn't get half my mouth in the video when I talk. Oh yeah. That way I'm anonymous, nobody knows who I am. Just a, a voice and a... A voice in the background with bare feet. Yeah, and a perfect personality. It's uh, like a radio. Yeah, zero personality. <laughs> just like a radio. Just listen and hear the tools clinking. Clink, clink, clink. Oh, come on. I thought I already pulled that one out. There, I got it that time. Okay, so now we have the correct hardware. It's exactly where I hit it. In case you don't know where that was. See, it was supposed to be down there. It was laying up there in the junk pile, right on top. So I'm probably somebody to see it in the video and told me, hey, dumbass, it's right there in the camera view. Yeah, they're looking at the whole thing. Yep. Beating on the screen. Hey, you dumbass, it's right there. Uh, they didn't see it because somebody made a comment about it was back in the background. Yeah. Oh, you know the keyboard warriors would make a comment. Oh, yeah, they're good at telling me when it's going up. They really do it, though, when I'm actually wrong, though. <laughs> Are you ever wrong? Yep. All the time. There we go. We're done. Now this is that bolt I didn't like. We'll see if it works this time. We're going to put the bad wash on that one so I know it's the bad bolt. Okay. Where's your wrench? Right there. That ain't going to work. That torque is a zip gun sucks. I don't know what torque it puts out. My old one, I know exactly what it puts out. What's wrong, Scooby? Am I bothering you? Okay, where's the bad one? This is the bad one. Front head on top. Put 
some nice looking washers on it. <clears throat> Nothing like having to redo all your work. It does look better though. Mm -hmm. Very important. Well, you know, half, the thing with these is half of them are all style. Because they sit in your driveway half the time, anyways. They gotta look good. That's right. When they're not running. Oh, we didn't need that washer. why choppers have to look so good. It's because they don't ever get ridden. That's the I mean, secret? Not all of them. Which one was that bad bolt we had? Not this Pretty one? Pretty sure it was that one. That was this one? I think it was. It's torquing now. That one's good. That one's good. I like that wrench. That one's good. That one's good. All right, that was done. That was quick and easy. Get some more now. Here's that one. See, the small washers fit the rocker box a lot better. See, I'll be watching with the crap on the camera view. You're feeling to your job over there. Oh. You're in charge of camera. That Scooby was doing that right now. He is doing it. He's doing a good job too. Look at that. What are you doing, Scooby? How's the cameraman going? Scooby doing a good job? Yeah. Scooby works cheap. <laughs> he works for pets. He's happy about that. See, it's torqued. And then we torque it. Mm -hmm. Very important if you use a torque wrench to do this correctly. Yeah, that one sucks. I don't like that one. <laughs> Just zip it down. <laughs> That makes a big difference. On this job, it does. Yep. There we go. Don't work in one hole, put it in the other hole. <laughs> Seems to matter on this motor for some reason. I don't know why. The motor has a history of abuse. It has a history of something. Emotional and this, and this, uh, yeah, yeah, whatever the word. Emotional distress is what this motor has. 
Okay, they look a lot better now. They're all the same. We got the nice small washer that fit a lot better and those big, big honking ass fat ones that were on there that stuck way up. Look a lot better. So there you go. Nothing to it. Almost no time at all involved. All right, so now we got to figure out what we do all this other crap around here. Okay, where is our head bolts? We put them down. Where's Let's our head see. gaskets at? It looks like our head gaskets are already on here. Shoot, I think it's time to put some heads on here. There's the head bolts. There's head bolts somewhere? Yeah. Is that those big things right here? I think so. Oh, sure, that's pretty smart. Okay, so we have no push rod covers on. Turn those down like that all the way. Okay. How do you like putting these in here first? And the phone likes to ring when you put them in there. You know, the phone always rings all the time. Sometimes they even answer it. <laughs> all right. Scooby's ringing. <laughs>